Hi everybody, it's me. Let me get rid of these since we'll get the glare. I don't get to do unboxings that much because I don't really normally get a lot of stuff, at least not purchase. However, this is a friend swap. Me and Nona, who is hashtag my so-called life 1977, decided to do a swap. Now, if you've been following me for any length of time, you know I don't really have a large makeup collection. However, Nona has a fairly sizable one. So, when we decided to swap, she sent me stuff from her collection, and I sent her stuff from my kitchen. We grow as much of our own food as possible, and I can. So, I sent her food. If you want to see what I sent her, you will have to go see her video. She hasn't put it up yet, at least at the time I'm filming this. Once she does, I'll put it, put it in the description box. But her box for me, she got her box from me yesterday, and I got my box from her today. So, and no, I haven't opened it. I need to get me a regular box cutter. This pair of scissors is just kind of awkward. But I don't want a big bulky one. And if I get one that's just the usual plain small ones, somebody always borrows them and I never see them again. Alrighty. Let's see what we've got in the box. Not a bad size box either. Nope, you wouldn't have seen. Ah, paper. I always love getting paper. There's another box inside the box. Okay, this box can go over here with the paper. And then I have to get the scissors again. Would you look at the tape? It's so pretty. Man, duct tape has really been stepping up their game when it comes to tapes that, since everybody is using duct tape like there's no tomorrow, there's an old meme that says duct tape has a light side and a dark side and it holds the universe together. And, you know, you kind of got to believe it with all of the duct tape that gets used for packaging and everything else. I mean, you could hold a car together with some of this stuff and don't look at me like that. I know about redneck repair. I've done it. Car I had for a little while we held the hood on with duct tape and wire and more duct tape and a little more wire and then again there was some duct tape. Aha! I'm getting closer. That one's done. Let's see, there's still a little connection there. A little connection there. Ha ha ha. Ha ha. Ooh. Oh, this is fun. Okay, we have... Right on the top, AOA Studios, one of their wonderful fan brushes. These things are great. I mean, think about this. Just doing a little carve out here. It's nice. It's big. It's got plenty of bristles. It's so soft. AOA Studio, great stuff. And it's a buck. I love these brushes. I really do. 
that'll go right in with the rest of my AOA brushes. And then, woo, something from Mac. Something from Mac. Let's see what I got. I cold crayon. Ah oh, ha ha Gorgeous. Mac pencil. I know where that's going. Right here in the drawer so I can get to it easy. And then, woo, white lipstick in glacé. Such a gorgeous color. Such a really gorgeous. Look at that. Look at that. Beautiful. I love white lipsticks. I've got a little... I've got another one like like the Glossé that got came in a box and I've got this little one that's called Chai which is one of their browns that came in a sample and I've got I got a sample at one point of their um, lip scrub their agave lip scrub and the um, lip balm that went with it I love that still don't have the money to to repurchase that one but I love the bite stuff it's wonderful the color stays forever it's great oh look now this is a first for me I admire the Juvia's Place stuff but I don't often buy some of the more expensive palettes. Now, this one is the Mini Nubian. Look at that. Is that not gorgeous? That is just beautiful. Now I'm not going to swatch these right now. I will do. I will do a look with this at another point and do all of that swatchy stuff then. But oh my God, I've been wanting one of the Juvia's Place pieces for a while, and I got one. Oh mercy! There's all manner of stuff in here. Tart. I have tart. Look at this. Tart. Rainforest of the Sea, Volume 3. Oh, that's one of the prettier ones. I love that palette cover. That's just great. It's a nice round compact. And this is the neutrals, but they're all shimmers. And this is gorgeous. I mean, this is just absolutely beautiful. If you're looking for something to base a neutral look with, or if you're traveling, this is great. Right in the case and gone. That's another one that I'm going to like do a whole thing with. Real Techniques Sponge. Real Techniques, I don't have a lot of, but I do have a few pieces by Real Techniques. And I love their sponges. I mean, you've got a nice flat surface here for getting right up under the eyes and getting into the corners with this little tiny point. And you've got plenty of surface for everything else. It's a wonderful sponge. It's not... Sponges are sort of... of um, 
personal base anyway because not everybody likes the same texture. This one is just firm enough that I know it's going to stand up to me doing a little thumping if I use a sponge, but it's also soft, and I like soft. Soft is good. Soft is squeaky. Put that one right over there. Oh my. No, no, you went through everything that you own, didn't you? She has gotten rid of anything that looks like a dupe, I think. This palette is from Pure. It's the Midnight Masquerade from Pure. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? And talk about beautiful. We've got a two-sided palette. Yes, it's still got the plastic on it, so I'm getting some bounce back. We've got eyeshadows and blush and bronze. But that is gorgeous. I'm going to have so much fun. I'm going to have to get my pat get my notebook out and start deciding which one goes first. Who's on first? Who's on second? Oh. That's the maroon down in the bottom corner called Reveal over in the face section. Absolutely beautiful. I'm going to have fun. I've got all this stuff to play with. Play. Ooh. Talk about wish fulfillment. Laura Geller. Baked Blush and Brighten. And this is in the Tropic Hues. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's going to look great on my skin. Absolutely. Yeah, this is a wish fulfillment box. I think she's a mind reader. I really do. Oh my goodness. The bottom of the box is not actually the bottom of the box. The bottom of the box is a larger palette that literally just fits. I'm going to have to pop the box a little more to get it loose. Okay, there's the waffle foam. And see, the box is now empty. Empty, empty. And what was in the bottom was this. Kara Beauty. And on the back it says Private Island Palette. And I got to slide it out of the slip cover, which is identical. Now, on the front of this, it says Sunset Rush. So it looks like the slip cover is from a different one. But that's okay. I don't have either one. <laughs> ah, ha, ha. Oh, my. I'm going to get this piece of plastic out of the way because it's sliding everywhere. But have a look at this thing. I'm going to try to do it so that the ring light doesn't blind anybody. This is gorgeous. Nona, you went crazy. 
You went absolutely crazy, woman. This is wonderful. I'm going to end up sitting here crying. This is wonderful. I've got palettes to play with. I've got things to play with. You are wonderful, madam. It's, it, I, I, all I sent you was food. Please. I've got enough stuff here to do my face several times over, repeatedly. This is great. I hope you actually have some of this stuff in duplicates at your house so we could do some, some collabs on this. I need somebody to collab with me with all these things. So much pretty. Honey, thank you. You are the bestest, sis. You really are. Yeah, well, we kind of adopted each other. <laughs> Thank you, baby. Anyway, for the rest of you, be good. Mm -hmm.